Hey guys, so if you haven't got done watching my Raised by Wolves um, trailer breakdown, I suggest you go check that out as I start getting ready to release more content. But something just clicked my mind. Um, so Jeepers Creepers Reborn, which is now is being titled for the re-release of Jeepers Creepers 4, which will be a release for 2022. And here is the short trailer teaser. So guys, I am so excited for the re-release of Jeepers Creepers. Now I know that Jeepers Creepers 3 did not do too well due to the fact that the marketing and the creator that made it was a complete douche, which we're not going to get into. But now I feel as if the Jeepers Creepers franchise is under a good hands because, you know, sometimes it's good to tie away from the past and try to rebrand something that's been damaged. Like I said, Jeepers Creepers is one of my greatest um, franchise. It's right up there with it when it comes to, I would say, powers and like the longevity. Because, you know, in it, you realize that it has 27 years until it, you know, re resurrect itself back in Derry, right? So the Creeper is very similar to the it monster where he has to take 23 years cycle in order for it to re-feed and redo his cycling killing so the last where we left off from what they're saying they gonna picked up right after um the second movie where the creeper got defeated and basically got hoisted up and pinned to the barn where at the end of the um second movie victor saw um victor um i forgot his name but the main character that shoot the creeper basically is waiting for the creeper to be resurrected again so where they pick up in the barn will be so phenomenal like i said jeepers creepers was, was a 2001 and 2002 um release um but it also followed by a 2017 release which was Jeepers Christmas 3 but it didn't really do too well right but I have high hopes for this one if you look at the posters that they've been releasing and how the movie is being thought out, thought out so the way the movie is really like I said being really thought out is that they took the past mistakes from the third movie but this time you could see that it has a greedy tone to the actual movie this time you know the first thing about the trailer we saw that the creeper is picking something in his car and how the the color backdrop makes you believe like it's really happening whereas the second the third film it, it had some good elements of the what they wanted to go but I feel as if because of budget and because of how they shot it it didn't go too very well but this one has it, it, it has a captivating of what what I think the fourth movie might be and what I'm wishing for about the fourth movie since it's gonna be a 2022 release but I think it's going to be um, probably in um, February or March you know whichever one it is but I think that they could I think they're gonna have a very good budget since they say they've been working on it it was supposed to release this year 2021 but due to the fact that the marketing wasn't really ready but the logos and the promotions start being rolled out we haven't got an official trailer yet but so far the small teaser trailer looks like it's getting really good up there when it comes to suspense because what happened in the third movie was that the suspense wasn't there the creeper wasn't really scary anymore it was kind of taken as a joke and plus the creeper was in daylight which i think to believe that the creeper tend to work better at night instead of daylight you know the sec the second one had daylight but it was more like a bright yellow type of daylight so it really it complemented the creeper on the second movie with that darker tone but yeah guys tell me what you guys think are you guys excited for this movie make sure you guys like and subscribe to the video and i'll see you guys in the next video all right bye bye